the energy moves up from the tip of your tongue and out into the spoken word. This is our next goddess, Matangi. She is that channel from source where the word is a vibration. She is the power of Vak, which is the source goddess of sound of the word. But word, the, the alphabet and the languages that we speak is just the surface reality of this energy. It takes forms as symbols, as patterns, the songs and poetry and, and, and musical tones and the song of the whales and the hummingbirds. Just as energy gets distorted in our bodies, this vibration of sound also does so that when all the words that you speak is, has its origin in the cosmic well, the source goddess of sound. But on its way to the tip of your tongue, it moves through different channels, through different belief systems, different limitations, different reactivities that oftentimes then distort what comes out of the mouth. The goddess Matangi is also called the goddess of the leftovers. And a beautiful interpretation of that name is that part of her is left over in the source well. So that as you speak the word here on the audible physical surface, you can find the roots in the, left, in the well by, by following the energy in also means that when you are offering words into the world, you leave parts of yourself in the world. And all of us can practice more awareness of what it is we are, what leftovers are we leaving behind when we speak, when we write, when we communicate out in the world. How can our communication be carrying the medicine of source? Yeah, that this is what all of our practices are doing. Yeah? They are softening and opening the channels so that as we engage in practical life and speak and express ourselves, we don't have to leave the deeper waters so that the, our words can carry that wisdom from beyond. Matangi is the energy that we, we f all feel in our souls when we hear words that brings us deeper to ourselves. It is it, the wisdom keepers, the sages, they have, you know, they have practiced their, 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 their instrument enough that their words carries this medicine from the beyond. And, we, and the words carry us into connection with that within ourselves. It is said that sound travels just like we have been exploring with well of energy. The sound travels from the cosmic. It travels into the subtle and it travels from the base of our bodies up the central channel, up the midsection of our bodies and then up and through our mouths. We can in our practice begin to recognize where the energy becomes blocked. And it is said that oftentimes it is in the heart regions where we have these gruntis, these energetic knots that distorts what comes out. When we go deeper into practice with Matangi, there are powerful, man her mantra can, can be channeled through the different uh, energetic channels of communication that one goes from the mouth up to the third eye goes to mouth down to the heart and around mouth to the navel mouth to the base and this way we are cleansing and opening and releasing knots in the channels of expression and creativity that we oftentimes experience in our lives as blocks as procrastination as fear as a sense of like uh, I have all this within me, but I never be, I'm not able to manifest it or express it in the world. Matangi, she is the guide in that exploration. And as, a, as an immediate way that you can practice with Matangi is to express yourself. Like her sadhana with Matangi is to 
find ways to do it. It is to find, to befriend your imperfection, to befriend um, that whatever you put out the first time may be very clumsy. Yeah, she asks us to begin to express, not wait till we got it together, not wait till it's going to be good or perfect, but to actually do it because it is in that we begin to, uh, this is a physical and energetic practice that actually opens channels in the body. So we have more and more capacity to channel from the deeper, deeper well.